Hey Philip. Hey Morgan. So, here we are in uh, Philip's nice backyard in Florida, sunny Florida, enjoying the sun and the wonderful weather. Well, it's a nice day, that's for sure. Yeah, it is. So, I wanted to ask a couple of questions for our subscribers that uh, I've been asked. Okay. And uh, one of them is, uh, how did you get started as an Amazon seller to begin with? I actually started with the Amazing Seller Machine um, almost two years ago. Um, and uh, did their training and just had uh, phenomenal success with it and um, started uh, getting to know a lot of other people doing it as well but yeah so we have uh, we have quite a few products we have several brands on Amazon and it's just been uh, a very fun ride good uh, I've also had the question from some people that asked me what made you start developing managed by stats in the first place well managed by stats was basically something I needed um, it uh, Amazon has some really good tools. They have great stats. You can go back and see what is happening now, what happened last week, what happened last year, and all of that. But you can't really break it down by uh, individual products. It all falls into the, the the main categories that they have. So you can mm -hmm. see your total stats for health and personal care, but you can't see it for the individual products that you have in there. And I needed to break that out. Right. Um, I needed to have uh, exact financials because I have partners um, in, on some of these products and I need to be able to break out you know, how much profit have we made in each of these products and how do we divide the profit and all of that. Um, and Amazon just does not give you uh, any easy way of seeing that. Uh, so I was spending hours and hours in spreadsheets every two weeks when Amazon paid um, to figure out exactly how much went where. Mm -hmm. And uh, and I got tired of that, and I figured out there's there has to be an easier way of doing this, and um, and there wasn't really. So I developed it for myself first, and then once we had a really nice package, I realized this is something that other people could probably use as well. But you looked around quite a bit first before you decided to develop. I tried it I tried quite a few different uh, packages out there. I asked a lot of the other people in the uh, in the community, you know, what are they using? Tried. Um, quite a few different pieces of software and many of them have parts of what you need but none of them had everything that I needed and um, so that's why I put the whole package together myself. So uh, t speaking about that what do you then think that managedbystats.com does differently than any other packages out there, software packages? Well, first and foremost, it makes it very easy to get what you need. Um, I'm, I'm an end user myself. I, I have my own Amazon accounts and um, sell our accounts, and I need to be able to see what's happening, and I wanted to make it fast and easy. So um, I think, first of all, um, I needed to be able to find a customer in Amazon. Mm -hmm. um, Amazon said Essential doesn't let you search by name, so that was essentially impossible. Um, unless you download spreadsheets and then merge spreadsheets and then search in the spreadsheets and you can't find um, a customer uh, especially if they're you know if they're calling you a few days after they bought it and um, you want to you know find out what order are we talking about here you can't find it in the sem set in you can't find that in Seller Central which is amazing in itself which is kind of odd yeah um, uh, so, you know, with this, we have all the data right there, every single day updated, um, so you can find your customers and, you know, if they email you or call you, you can instantly see what it is that they bought. Um, we have all the information at your fingertips. Um, another thing that um, we were asked about uh, by our subscribers is, you know, how can we find who are our best customers? So the repeat buyers. And um, again, in Amazon, that is, you know, a, a huge task to find. Um, we have it broken down so you, you know if you, you, you want to find somebody that's bought multiple products you can. You want to find somebody who's bought the same product lots of times what you know uh, you can find that. You in managed by stats. You mean, in managed yeah. by stats yes yeah. and if you want to find out who has uh, spent the most money buying stuff from you you can find that and we have all that on a repeat buyers page that gives you all that information right there at your fingertips with you know a click or two. Right. Um, so those are some of the things that we do. I mean, obviously, if you want to be able to see your uh, sales statistics or your cost of goods or your profit on a on a, a nice graphed 
statistical you know printout or, or page um, we do that uh, broken down either by you know seller account um, or by um, the brand um, so we have multiple brands for example so I can see the statistics graphed for each of those brands and I can even break it down into product lines inside of that brand and down into the individual products Great. so you can see exactly you know what's happening on every single item that you sell so it basically gives you better control over your business yeah it gives you all the data that you need to do uh, to manage that and then of course we uh, something that particularly was frustrating for me was keeping up with inventory I mean when I had one or two products it wasn't so bad but once you're into you know 16 20 products or more it starts getting to be uh, a very time-consuming process of you know how much have uh, does Amazon have on hand right now to sell how much have you sent into Amazon that's on its way to Amazon and how long will all of that last how much have you sold in the last 30 days um, and you have to jump from you know this screen to that screen to this screen in Amazon and you can you can get the data more or less um, but you have to jump around a bit to do it uh, so we put all of that on one page and we created alerts and we, you know, we let you define how long will it take for you to, uh, to, to place an order and get it produced and get it arrived in Amazon. And let's say it's six weeks. So you say this is a six week lead time on this product. And if you have less than six weeks of product left, you will get an alert right on the front page of Managed by Stats saying, you know, you, you're going to run out of this if you don't place an order now. And, um, and it gives you just complete prediction on that based on all the data to hand. I mean, you know, it, obviously if you do a promotion mm -hmm. um, where you now, you know, give it away or give it off at half price and you sell, you sell 10 times as many, this is not going to predict that kind of thing because that's what you're doing. But it'll predict on, on the last 30 days for the sales, how much do you have left? How much time do you have? Right. Great. And. Um when someone gets started with managedbystats.com, what would you recommend their their uh, first action should be? What should they do first? Well, the first thing is uh, let us download your your information. It'll it'll uh, after the setups, um, it'll take um, about a year's worth of data from your Amazon seller account. Put it in there, and you can see what's happening. Um, if you have multiple products, then um, it, w it might make sense to just go in there and define product lines and group them into product lines. Um, that'll give you more of a breakdown of what your statistics are uh, in the various groupings of product. Um, and then study the help videos. Great.